Hello and welcome back to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Commentary and today I want to talk about a couple knives I picked up on Amazon and yes, they are knockoffs. They are knockoffs of the CRKT Provoke. Now, if you haven't seen my video, I did a video, I'll link it at the end or put it in the description or something, but I did a video on the CRT Provoke here, which is in its sheath and here it is right here and it is a karambit morphing knife really cool really neat uh functioning knife so there you go uh if you haven't seen that video i'll put a link in it so you can see uh so you, if you want to go in, into detail on the crambit uh on the crt provoke crambit morphing knife you can go watch that video but this is basically it here it's a it's a really cool style of knife that morphs into um you know your ready state real easily just like that and i mean don't get me wrong it's not a cheap knife <clears throat> you can get these uh you might find them around 150 bucks but um with the knife and the sheath you're probably looking about 200 dollars investment so bam there you go now i was strolling on amazon and i came across some knives and they are basically knockoffs of the cr kt provoke and i was like man come on and they were like both right around kind of 30 ish dollars so i said you know what i'm gonna get them just see what they are and i tell you what i mean they're nowhere nowhere near the quality um they don't have any type of steel designated for them so uh i would say if anything these are novelty items at best i would not put my faith in these things at all but, you know, I saw them and I'm, I've been getting really uh, interested in the Karambit style knives and I really like the CRKT Provoke. So I picked a couple of these up. Actually, I only saw two knockoffs. So uh, I'm going to go into them and uh, let you know my thoughts. But starting out, the steel, I can't even, I don't even know what it is. So um, there you go. Uh, I do have my little display set up here so I can get kind of close and show you the details of these. And I'll hit these two and then I'll go and show you a little bit of the Provoke too under the under the micro cam or whatever you want to call it. So I'll start with this first one here, which is in, um, I don't know, it looks like stainless steel, but I can't tell if it's coated or not or nothing. Um, there is no description on it that I could see. Uh, it does use the... Um, torque type screws to hold it all together unlike the provoke though this thing is um it's not a solid piece it's made of multiple layers of steel kind of screwed together so you know it is very much very thinner than the original provoke um and you know it it folds out fairly easy uh it does have a different locking device right here which you push down to get it to close like that it doesn't quite snap quite like the provoke is is predominantly um and i don't see any type of bushings or anything in it that i can tell i haven't taken it apart um it looks like it's just metal to metal and relying on the nice smooth finish that this has which uh it might be you know chromed or something like that I, I don't know i didn't put a whole lot of time into looking into it um i just picked them up because i had to see what people were putting out for uh knockoffs for the provoke being that i'm a big fan of it so uh and there you go so um i guess i'll show you this other one too before we get down on the on the micro cam and uh <laughs> here's the other one this one here, they it's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger than the than the the shiny one here, uh, and they actually put a clip on it right there. You can see the clip, and they put a bottle opener on it, which I mean, it, <laughs> uh, and a glass breaker. Look at that right there. So they try to make this thing a multi-purpose type type knife, and honestly, the uh, provoke morphine karambit i don't know when you're going to be pulling that baby out to open up a bottle but the knockoff version they put it on there um with this one uh it 
It's a little bit longer, it sticks out a little bit further than the other one, but you can't quite flip it real good because of that glass breaker. So um, it hits you in the skin and all that. But it is, um, like I said, again, I don't know what kind of steel it is, but it is using the torque style screws to hold it together. And it is also made of multi layers of metal screwed together versus a solid piece like the, uh, like the true provoke. So, um, there you go. Of course, the can opener is rendered useless when open, but <laughs> it's not that it really matters. So, all right, let's go ahead and take a look in the micro cam and, uh, and I'll show you some close ups of it. And then I'll break out the original provoke under the micro cam and you can see it in action as well. So you'll get that comparison, but here we go. Let me switch on over to it. All right, here we are. I tried to get my lighting a little bit better. All right, here is the first one. See how shiny that is? Um, and there you can see really even closer the multiple layers right here of metal kind of just screwed together to make it all functional. There it is in action. Uh, it does latch down pretty good, but... I don't know how long this piece here will last, so who knows. Um, and like I said, I don't know the blade uh, material or any of the material on this, so who knows how well it stays sharp and whatnot. There you go. So that is the first one I ordered, the smaller of the two. All right, here is the bigger one with the can opener, which the can opener is accessible when the knife is folded back together. Um, this one has a little bit of design in where the screws go. If I can get a good view of that, there you go. Um, they're not really functioning. It's just divots kind of cut into it to give it a pattern, I guess, to make it look neater. Um, there is your glass breaker, which I don't see this being a knife I would ever want a glass breaker on. Nope. I don't consider it a utility knife. I consider it more of a, um, combat style knife, but anyhow. And then, of course, the uh, belt clip right there. So, and then get this back in there. There you go. There's that one. Of course, with the uh, glass breaker, it makes it really hard to handle this with various trainings that are available for the karambit style knife. So, all right. And I'll just go over the provoke one more time this is the crt uh, crkt provoke and yes this thing look at that i mean you can hear the snap on it man it's it's solid um you know it, it moves real smoothly and you can actually hear it lock back in look at that snaps into place yeah i really like the crk um provoke if you haven't noticed so all right let me switch back to the uh original screen well i'll tell you what i'll put these all right here so you can see them here <clears throat> all next to each other so there you go um of course the original right here and then knock off one knock off two all right let me switch back over here all right so there you go um like I said, I'll link the video to the to my video on the Provoke um, down in the comments or at the end of the video or something like that. But this thing here is awesome. And when I saw the knockoffs, I just had to check them out because, bam, this thing is cool. And I'm becoming a big fan of Karambit knives. Um, so I wanted to get these knockoffs and <laughs> just see what they were all about. Now, if you're not looking for this style of knife, but you want a novelty thing... Um, sure, you know, 30 bucks, you got a little novelty piece here. Um, I mean, sure, why not, right, for $30 if you just want something novelty-ish. But honestly, if you're buying one of these two to be in any type of practical situation, yeah, I would not, I would not. Just my recommendation, I would not. Um, I would stick with the Provoke itself. So, uh, now they do make a Provoke uh, light, I think it is, where the handle is all polymer or something like that. Um, I've been looking to get one and try it out, but um, this guy is awesome. These here 
okay, they're neat, but uh, to me, they're novelty items. So um, I'm not going to use them. Uh, yeah, no, they're going to stick in there, stay in their little box and stuff like that. I don't know. I might give them away to somebody who knows, but I'm not going to use them for any practical purposes. So if you see these available, that's my thoughts on it. You know, if you want something that's just a novelty because you're not really a, a karambit style uh, person um, and you want something just kind of cool to have in your collection that's super cheap, sure, sure, go ahead. But if you're actually wanting a morphing karambit to, to do what a karambit does, I would stick with the provoke. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Spend the money. Uh, I, got, I know somebody, and to quote them, you know, pay once, cry once, right? I mean... That, that's, I mean, <laughs> it's a funny statement, but I mean, sometimes it's true, right? Um, I don't think as of now, you're going to get a deal with a morphing style knife like this um, for any cheaper than what you're going to pay for the Provoke. So now I don't know if these are even legit because I don't know if the patent on the Provoke is still in. I'd be curious. I've been trying to look into that to see if CRKT um you know is 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 kind of going after these or not i don't know i don't know how long they'll be available but they are being made and like i said they're neat they're neat for a novelty item but i would not put my faith in either of these at all mm -mm. nope nope i'm gonna stick with the provoke so anyhow that's my thoughts on the whole matter if you've picked up one of these uh, knockoff knives on Amazon. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section if you've seen them or something like that. If you have a CRT Provoke itself, let me know your thoughts. If you have the light version with the polymer type frame and stuff like that, I'd really be curious because I'm looking to get myself one um, and try it out. So put a comment down in the comment section if you have one of those also. Other than that, that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, check out some of my other videos. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget I have a member section where I do videos on stuff that you know, YouTube doesn't find advertiser friendly. Doesn't violate the, the YouTube uh, terms and conditions or anything. But they're not ad friendly. So I have a small member section. Uh, it's 99 cents and it's just so I can make some revenue off of those videos and stuff like that because most of that stuff I'm taking out with me and I'm doing stuff with it. Um, so I might as well record it, right? So, all right, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.